Hi! Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be showing you how I did this soft glam look. Um, it's not the most natural, but it is. For me it is. Um, it's a soft glam anyway. I'm gonna show you how I did that. I pretty much do this for in on a daily basis when I'm wearing makeup, you know. Um, yeah. I hope you like it and if you want to see how I did this glam on my face, please keep on watching. Hope I'm in focus. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Alright. Just gonna start by fixing this mess in my head. I just realized I still have hair dye all over my scalp. I dyed my hair a couple of days ago and it's just like everywhere. <laughs> So I'm gonna start as always by the L'Oreal Fine Flowers Toner just to clean my face and have a clean base. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna start by priming my eyes using the Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in the shade C1. And slightly setting that with a powder. For today, I'm gonna use the Me, Myself and Mama Mitchell palette. And uh, I'm gonna stick to the more neutral shades like Man Made and Modest, Some of Main, you know, those kind of brownie warm nudes. I'm going to start off with a shade Modest right here and a MAC 224 fluffy brush. I'm going to apply this all over my lid and use it as my guide color. Then I'm going with a shade Meh right here. It's like a dirty, pukey color. I don't know how else to explain it. And use the same motion on the same areas just to darken it up. Man-made. Same brush, just darken it up. Then on a denser brush, the MAC 217, I'm gonna go in with the shade Main and mix it a bit with Monday right here, just to use on the outer corner. I'm really loving those colors and how easy blendable they are. Oh, well, you look at that. Hmm. Just gonna focus on the outer V of my eye and just slightly drag it onto the crease, but not all the way up. Now that I've got the color down, I'm gonna take the MAC 224 again and start blending it. I say I'm not gonna drag it out, but I'm always, I'm always dragging out, I don't know. Then I want a small wing, so I'm gonna go with a MAC 266 uh, angled brush and the shade Mafia, but I think I'm gonna mix it a bit with Monday because I don't want it to be too black. If you don't like black liners, use uh, an eyeshadow or even a brown liner or a brown shadow. It's less harsh, smoother and is not as intense on the eyes. It's a great alternative. Create a little wink. And kind of blend it out with the brown. I don't want anything more intense than that. I just wanted something to darken my lash line up here. I think that will do it. I want it matte so I'm not gonna put anything shimmery on the eyelid and I'm just gonna go off camera and finish the other eye and it'll be right back. So I went ahead and done the other eye as well and popped on some false eyelashes. I've been looking for my eyelashes for 15 minutes and they were in my hair. I'm gonna move on to primer. I use the e.l.f. Poreless Powdered Primer pretty much all over my face because, you know, I've got pores. 
um, mainly focus on the T zone, especially my nose. Chin. And then a little bit like on the cheeks right here. I'm not a, the biggest believer in primer. I don't know like if it helps with the longevity of the foundation. But this one I like because it smooths my pores and it's really cheap drugs, so I mean, come on, it's e.l.f. I'm gonna move on to foundation. I'm gonna use one of my favorites. This is the Maybelline Super Stay 24 Hours Full Coverage Foundation. This is in the shade 03 True Ivory. I've been using it for a few months now and I've been really loving it. It's full coverage and because I've got all my acne scars and everything like that, I do like a full coverage. I'm just gonna start tapping it all over my face. By the way, I'm using a Real Techniques Beauty Blender and it's incredible. I mean, look at that. It's not overly matte, it has a satin finish to it, which I like. I don't want overly matte foundations, although I do have oily skin. Right now my skin is kind of going to normal, maybe dry sometimes even. So I think this foundation is perfect. Going back with the same concealer that I used in the beginning and start highlighting my face. Gonna go all the way up. Because I do want that lifted look. And then blend it out. Be careful not to have a really sharp edge right here. Make sure to really blend it out. I'm gonna cream contour using the Kiko Stick Foundation. And then on a flat brush, I'm gonna try and snudge my nose. I make sure I have a straight line and bring it all the way up to the brow bone. So it looks nice and blended. And then on the tip of the nose. And then I blend it out. I'm going to set everything in place. I'm going to use the Maybelline Lasting Fix Translucent Powder. I'm going to use the same sponge that I used for my foundation because I feel like using a sponge for your powder instead of a brush, it really helps the powder melt into the skin and don't look too cakey. I'm going to bake my nose a little bit. And then set the rest of my face with just normal powder brush. Oh, oh. Now that I officially look like a ghost, I think it's time to put some color back into my face. Hmm. But I'm gonna do that after I finish under my eyes. For my waterline, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Lasting Drama Call Liner. I recently discovered this and I've really been loving it. And with a flat brush, going in with a shade... What do I want to use? I'm gonna go in with a mix of man-made and mental. Be careful, mental is pigmented. Then I'm gonna darken it up a little bit. Taking the color Muse and finish it off with some mascara. Now it's time to add some color back into my face. 
For that, I'm going to use the 17 Illuminate and Contour set in the shade Light Medium and looks like that. I'm going to take a fluffy brush, swirl it around and start going over where we put that cream contour. And on a smaller, denser brush, taking the same color and start contouring my nails. Not too much because we put that cream contour before, so I'm just gonna blend it out. And then for the cheeks, I don't want something too pink, I want something to blend in with the eye color that we use. So for that, I'm going to use one of my favorite blushes of all time, MAC Peaches. Oh, that looks like that. In a duo fiber brush. Smile. This blush is like one of my all, all time favorites. I've had it for years and it's pretty much the only one I use. For highlighter, I'm gonna go in with Mary Luminizer by The Balm. If you pan on it, um, well loved highlighter. And my Morphe uh, M451 brush. For lips, I'm going to use my favorite lip liner of all time. I'm going to take MAC Whirl Lip Liner and pretty much overline my lips. And then I'm going to take MAC Angel Lipstick, looks like this, nice sheer pink lipstick, and tap it on my lips. So that's my pretty much everyday makeup routine. Um, I do change it up sometimes, like use different palettes or different lipsticks. Um, but that's pretty much it. Like I do love a soft matte glam on the eyes with a nude lip. I think that suits me. I love it. <laughs> and I hope you guys liked it too. If you have any requests, please feel free to leave them down below in the comments. I'm gonna have my social media links in the description bar. Please hit that like button, subscribe if you like the look and if you like the video and um, if you like the overall, this, whatever that is. <laughs> and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so, so, so much for watching.